Hey folks, just wanted to go over a quick uh, nuts and bolts, quick and dirty if you will, um, no frills mix of an acoustic guitar track and a rock song. So we have here four tracks of acoustic guitar that are featured in the bridge section of a song I'm working on for a client. This is the before. This is right off the mic. This is, you know, DIY by the artist. Just to give you some context, so this is with no, no processing going on from the uh, guitars. So, out of context, soloed, the acoustics sound like this. So, pretty vanilla right off the mic, nothing special going on, nothing happening. But, in order to get it to stand out against this mix, We need to make them cut a little bit, so we're going to come here to the SSL Channel Strip Native 2, boost some highs around 8K, cut out some lower mids around 400, um, get some meat and potatoes around the 270 mark-ish. That's to taste, obviously. So with that engaged, we have this. So we get a little break up in the top end, but now we're going to add a Silverface LA-2A just for a little more grit and control, if you will. Not a ton of compression, just to... Um, you know, beef things up a little bit, a little bit of texture. It might sound a little grainy there and start to break up a tad, but in context, you need all that to get it to cut through. So here we have it in context. And if you want to go the distance, I also have an Abbey Road plate from Waves Engaged here. Well, it's currently disabled, but still. Um, not doing a ton, but it's just there for a little bit of ambience, just to pull things back into space a little bit. I would usually have this on an effects return, but since it's a kind of a special scenario, I've just got the mix knob going on. So with that in engaged. And there you go, fitting some acoustic guitars quickly into a mix. Hope you enjoyed that video, and uh, we'll see you next time. Happy New Year out there.